If you're truly wealthy, you're not visiting your local Rolls Royce dealership to buy a ghost, but rather a phantom, at a price that starts just above $400,000 but can require adding a seventh digit. The ghost, while still outrageously expensive at $291,350, is for the merely rich. To better delineate the difference, let's paraphrase comedian Chris Rock, LeBron James is rich. Cleveland Cavaliers owner Dan Gilbert, who signs James' paychecks, is wealthy. Recognizing that money can be a sensitive subject in the wake of increasing income disparity in the United States, Rolls-Royce executives incessantly throw around the word entrepreneur to describe their ghost clients. Everyone still loves the myth of the bootstraps. Other myths punctuate the Rolls-Royce narrative. 60 craftsmen in Goodwood spend some 450 hours laboring over each custom, hand-finished automobile. Rolls-Royce says that in excess of 85% of the 4,000 cars it will sell this year are bespoke, which means that if a buyer has a grove of trees on his estate, for example, he may choose to have some of that wood included in the interior trim. Or, in the case of Hong Kong billionaire Stephen Hung, he can just elect to have his wife's car painted entirely pink. With this clash between the traditional stage Rolls Royce idioms, fetch the car, Alfred, and the shamelessness of our global culture, the inconsistency of a proud British firm being owned and run by the Germans at BMW seems much less important than it did a decade ago. That the underpinnings of the ghost are borrowed from a 7 series doesn't matter. What does is the option to personalize your fitted umbrella with up to two canopy colors and a further option for the beading. Yes, that's a feature newly available on the 2015 Ghost Series 2, one of relatively few changes from what we can now start calling the Series I Ghost, one of the 2010 to 2014 models. As inducements to upgrade though, the Series 2 is left wanting, although according to Rolls Royce, that is by design. spirit of ecstasy festooned controller that supports touch input. Perhaps recognizing that the Ghost's ride could use a little more BMW in it, as well, since the introduction of the Ray, the Ghost's role as the driver's roller has been undermined, a firmer suspension setup is now offered as an option on the standard wheelbase Ghost's while the retune settings certainly allow less listing than with the standard configuration, the dynamic package is best identified from the driver's seat by the thicker steering wheel. Pitching the 5,600-pound ghost into a corner still results in tire squealing understeer. With the exception of the transmission, the rest of the mechanical package carries over, including the 563-horsepower, 6.6-liter twin-turbo V12. The C replaces the old ZF8 speed automatic with essentially the same transmission, but now it's wired into the navigation system so that it can predict when to shift, a setup that first appeared on a Rolls in the Wraith. Shifts in the Ghost were already a non-event, so it's hard to tell whether this is legitimate technology or an apparition. What's indisputable is that the Sea Ghost still drives like a Rolls Royce wafting along like a hundred-dollar bill caught in a strong updraft.
Rob Stone, two damn phones, Babylon's came.